you remember how in my fever video I talked about how your hypothalamus is in charge of regulating your body temperature? And in children, the temperature can swing up and down a lot more quickly than it does in adults. Febrile seizures tend to happen when your body has a big temperature jump from low to high. The seizure is just a reaction in the brain to the sudden change in temperature. It doesn't mean that your child is suffering any brain damage or that anything underlying is wrong. Once the seizure stops, your child will usually be a little drowsy and confused. This is called the post-ictal or after seizure state. It usually lasts for about 30 minutes to an hour before your child will return to their baseline of their normal happy self. But it sometimes takes a lot longer if the seizure happened in the middle of the night. So what will the doctor do when you take your child in after having a febrile seizure? Usually the seizures already stop by the time we see your child. So we'll go ahead and examine your child and try to determine the source of the fever. If we find a source that needs treatment, like an antibiotic, we would go ahead and start that. And if your child still has a fever, we would go ahead and give anti-fever medication.